Welcome to HVAC Startup Technicians guys and today we're going to clean these coils as you can see um, it's pretty dirty so as the leaves and wind and grass get into this this air should be passing through so as we get ready for the cooling season we're going to go ahead and clean this coil today I'm using some new bright condenser coil cleaner um, this is pretty heavy stuff so we have to mix this with water so you're going to use half of this and half of the water if you don't want to mix they actually comes in new cans um like spray cans i could just spray it and then you're gonna have to rinse it off with a hose as you can see i have my hose here already getting ready so i'm um, using this pump spray bottle all you gotta do is just kind of pump it up like this and then you do it like this here yeah, and we're gonna soak the coil right through Make sure the, the cleaner gets through all the fins. I mean, this one is not too bad, but um, you all want to clean all of them all of the way around. You want to make sure that it's soaked through. Around, sometimes you could take a little bit. I'm using a smaller, um, a smaller spray bottle because just this is just a little, um, a little unit. So you want to make sure that it's soaked all the way through. I mean, and this is something everyone should be doing on the on the unit. It will definitely help you get through the winter, sorry, the summer, and make your job, your unit work so much better. I mean, this could cost you a lot of money, but these are things that you can do for yourself. So as I said, I'm making sure it's soaked, and sometimes you have to kind of keep on pumping it. And then you would want it to sit for a little bit. And then if you have gauges, you can check what you um you keep you keep pumping it most of the time. If you have gauges, you can come and check what your refrigerant level is, if it's not too cool and you want to turn. But this is how you you clean your coil to get ready for the summer season. And once you, you have it soak in and you give it enough time, then you're gonna wash it out because you have to very be very careful that this is a lot of, you know, acid is it's really an acid you can see you see here you guys can see the dirt that's coming out of through that coil already and look at it you wouldn't think that it's that dirty but as you can see okay, so we're trying to make sure that it's soaked all the way in So I think that's should be enough. And I said before, it's new bright condenser cleaner. Just be very careful that this doesn't get on your hand. You know, you don't want it to get on your hand too much. I was just trying to use up everything I have in that bottle. So I'm trying not to mix too much. I mean, you could kind of mix like half and half. That's what I do. So I mix half water with half of my new bright condenser cleaner. So I think it's pretty good. You know, we soak her all the way through. And if you look, um, while I'm spraying, if you guys could see in here, you see how it's foaming up in there? You see how the dirt is foaming up in there? I don't know if you could zoom in in here. That's exactly what you want. You will see it sort of foam up in a little bit as you give it time. Look here. You can see all the dirt. That's exactly what you want to see before you start spraying it out. So very very important that i'm not i'm not stopping the video i'm doing everything like so you guys could see exactly i know the video might be a little bit long but so the then the, you go see the dirt that come out yeah. see this you don't want to wash it out too soon so you want to actually wait and give it some time to soak to soak in before you um before your rinse 
right. So you guys can see how it, how it goes, you see how it's foaming up. It's not too bad. I've seen many other calls that is a little bit more dirty than this. So that's a way that you guys could clean your call by yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and we see it foamed up where most of the dirt is. See this? So we're pretty good. I mean, you don't want to leave it for too long. Just leave it for a couple minutes and then you will be totally okay and get ready to wash it. As you can see, this is not too bad. So what you're gonna do after you're done, you see, I have my hose lying here and I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna just start to spray it like this. Like this. And it still looks good. And you see, look how much dirt coming out of this. And if you were kind of walking on somebody, you need to just sit them and kind of wipe them down here. You know, make sure everything looks clean and nice, you know. Because the presentation is very important to make sure that the customers are happy with the work you do. Look at, look at how this is sparkling you now. Alright guys. So thanks for watching the video. Um, please don't forget to comment and subscribe. See you on our next video. While I wash them this soil and mess with that water. See you guys.